2020 is the year of decentralized finance. But what does that really mean? In a nutshell, that means that this niche in cryptocurrency is outperforming all of its peers. Last year, the hottest niche in cryptocurrency was exchange tokens. Utility tokens for exchanges consistently outperformed Bitcoin. Many of them had as high as 300% gains and some even more. But 2020 is now here and it's time to turn the page from exchange tokens to DeFi tokens. Today, I'm going to be giving you my top six DeFi tokens that are going to help you get massive gains this year. Let's get it. Hello and welcome to BitBoy Crypto, your one-stop shop for all things related to Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. I make videos on this channel almost every single day. If you like what you hear or see, then please make sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell to turn on notifications. If you'd like to take the conversation even further, then please make sure to join my Telegram group, The Bit Squad. All right, guys, today I'm going to be giving you my list of top six DeFi tokens that I believe are primed to outgain the competition. Now, before I reveal my exclusive list of DeFi tokens, we need to understand what decentralized finance is. So I'm going to be explaining what it is in general, why this is such a hot niche, and how you can take advantage of it. You see, in traditional finance, you have to go through third parties in order to do financial activities. Think about trying to get a loan. When you apply for a loan, there's an approval process. And if that loan is for a mortgage, they put you through the ringer. It's the most ridiculous process I've ever seen in my life trying to get one. As a person like myself, who doesn't really have a traditional job, it's actually a crazy process. I'd be more likely to be able to get a loan much easier if I worked at Starbucks for nine bucks an hour. But the point is, there's a centralized entity who's ultimately making these decisions. That's why two people could apply for a mortgage with similar incomes and credit scores, and one could get approved while the other gets denied. With decentralized finance, a loan is secured through smart contracts and collateralizing. There's no waiting by the phone for a person to call you to tell you that another person ultimately decided whether or not you were worthy enough to get that money. Think about the speed at which the financial world could move without that crazy waiting game. But loans are just a small sliver of the decentralized finance world. Other areas of DeFi include banking, wallets, derivatives, trading, exchanges, payments, investment tools, stable coins, and even identity-focused projects. The DeFi blanket is a large one covering a lot of different coins. So other than hype, why are we seeing DeFi outperform other niches? Is this something you can take advantage of still? Well, I think that you can, and I do believe that there is an explanation for it. Let's move back to our example of how last year exchange tokens were the top ROI coins. What do exchange tokens in 2019 have in common with DeFi in 2020? You see, the thing they both have in common is that they're both brand new developing niches. Yes, crypto exchanges became popular in 2017, but it was really 2018 when they were fleshed out and coins like BNB got their legs under them. By 2019, Binance, Huobi, KuCoin, OKX, and others started popping up. Well, this is the same thing we've seen with DeFi. 2019 set the tone for this niche. So in 2019, many of them were developed, launched, and they found their use case. Now in 2020, they're hitting their stride. Yes, some DeFi projects like Augur have been around for a long time, but 2019 was the year we really started figuring out how all of these finance projects work together. And I think that will lead to more great opportunities down the road to get big gains while this landscape is exploding. One thing you need to understand though, is that we're looking at coins today that have the potential to grow their value in terms of their price. But DeFi is about way more than just investing in a coin and hodling. If you guys are interested in DeFi, let me know and I can help you guys take a look at more ways you can make money outside of just buying these coins. So let's take a look at my top six DeFi coins. Coming in at number six, I have Hydro. This is a project that's been around since 2018 and it showed huge potential right out of the gate, getting as high as 167 Satoshis. Now it's sitting around four sats. It's available on Bitrix, Coinex, Bitmart, and Liquid, among others. But Hydro is an open source blockchain consisting of a global community of developers 
who are looking to make blockchain adoption simple. They're specializing in developing products around P2P payments, B2B payments, point of sale, remittance, lending, credit, savings, and tokenization. So you can see Hydro does a little of everything, and that's one reason why I'm bullish on it. Coming in at number five is Origin. Now, Origin is a decentralized marketplace, but the project is called Origin Protocol. OGN is available on Binance. You may have seen this one floating around as it's gotten quite a bit of hype lately. We've yet to really see what Origin Protocol can do as it only launched in January of this year. As Bitcoin was rising, it rose as well. Now the Bitcoin has fallen, of course, it has also fallen. I love the idea though of Origin's decentralized marketplace. So here's the premise. Uber, the company, takes a percentage of the profits from both the rider and the driver, okay? Even though for all intents and purposes, basically they're just operating the app. Uber disrupted the taxi business. Origin is seeking to disrupt Uber and Airbnb and basically any corporately owned marketplace. If you've ever talked to an Uber driver, they're doing all the work and they are not getting paid like they should. Origin can fix this. Coming in at number four is Ren, and it's also available on Binance. Ren is the next evolution of atomic swaps. In fact, Ren swaps are actually 100 times faster than their predecessors. If you don't know what an atomic swap is, it's basically where you can swap one coin for another, regardless of what blockchain they are on. So you could directly swap Ethereum for Bitcoin without the need of a centralized exchange. Right now, Ren offers swaps for Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Zcash, and all ERC20s which are of course Ethereum tokens. Ren does have plans though to add many more blockchains in the future. We've seen other types of swaps and they exist for all kinds of reasons, but Ren's purpose is to basically allow users to tap into inter-blockchain liquidity for decentralized applications. Coming in at number three is Maker. Now Maker is the king of DeFi. If you're interested in investing in the Maker token, then you can buy it on KuCoin or OKX. So why do I have Maker at number three instead of the top spot? Well, the real money in Maker comes in when you collateralize loans and perform other actions with it. It's not necessarily a HODL only coin. However, I felt like I still need to put it on this list because it is the name brand of DeFi. A lot of people are still going to see it and invest in it without even understanding what it's really for. Recently, Maker did suffer some, though, during the great Bitcoin crash of 2020, you know, two weeks ago. Over the last few days, Maker has really bounced back, and I expect that to continue. Coming in at number two, I'm looking at Kava, which is available on Binance. Kava, coincidentally, had some big news today about it opening up a big partnership with Chainlink. And as you probably know, almost everything Chainlink does turns to gold. So what is Kava? Kava has the first cross-blockchain and multi-asset collateralized debt position, also known as CDP. Understanding CDP is pivotal if you're interested in learning more about decentralized finance. That's the way many people are making money right now. Through their cross-blockchain platform, users can exchange crypto for a loan that is paid in Kava's stablecoin, USDX. Interestingly enough, Kava is not built on Ethereum's blockchain like the rest of the tokens we've looked at today. It's actually built on Binance's chain. Often people associate DeFi only with Ethereum, and for good reason, it's most of the projects. But the world of decentralized finance is growing. Coming in at number one is one of the hottest coins over the last two months, Kyber Network. If you're interested in getting invested in KNC, you can find it on Binance as well. Now, usually jumping into a hot coin isn't a great idea, but there's reason to believe that Kyber is just getting started. At the moment, Kyber Network is working behind the scenes on a huge protocol update. In the super short term, buying the rumor and selling the news is most likely your best strategy. But a major update for this on-chain liquidity protocol could be absolutely huge to cement it as the premier on-chain protocol of its type. One of the most impressive things about the run KNC has been on is that in spite of the entire market dropping, it's still been able to hold gains, 90% gains for the years of a couple days ago. Something hardly any projects can say right now. But now it's your turn. Are you interested in decentralized finance? If so, 
let me know what projects you want me to cover down below in the comments. If you aren't interested in DeFi, let me know that too. These videos take a lot more research than most because DeFi is a tangled web of interoperability protocols and swaps. But I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please smash the like button and hit subscribe to become a member of the fastest growing community in crypto, the BitSquad. Thank you so much for watching. Have a blessed day. Big boy out.